Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested. And I'm Patrick from Tested and Tech Thing. And for today's show and tell, Patrick has brought to our office Tiny keyboards? Tiny keyboards. These are beautifully constructed. Uh, this is the six keyboard. These are two of the six keyboards. Uh, something new from the keycap mavens at techkeys.us. Essentially, these are six programmable keys, um, and they can execute a key or series of keystrokes, and you pre-program them in advance. Yeah, it's really, really fun. Like, for example, if I if I hit one, it automatically pulls up, you know, control, shift, escape, and actually uh, left key and enter, so it will launch... Uh, the uh, the thing I launch every day of my life, the task manager, ah, <laughs> which is something yeah. apparently I use so often I can no longer actually remember the name Control of it. Control shift escape or a single key. I love this idea. And you said they started off building the one key and the three yes. key, which were just in a single key. A single key. Plug in over um, mini USB to your computer and then program. And yes. now I think six is a good number. Six is a good number. Uh, and it's really, really cool to program because what you do is, you notice, right, it's, it's, you plug it in as a USB keyboard. It shows up as a USB keyboard. You open up a text editor and you hold a key down for four seconds. And that enters into the mode where you can uh, set it up and program it. Uh, so the software is already built in. It's yes. not about downloading and installing additional software. It no. works straight out of the box. It's in the yeah, circuitry. and it's you know if you're thinking like I'm going to have a GUI and I'm going to pin and type in well it's a little funky when you first hit it right but basically um, you hold the key down for four seconds inside of a text editor it prints out the instructions inside of the text editor that's cool and then you sit here and you're like okay I want to do um, control good and oh. A and then window, and yeah. you keep going through that. And then when you're done, you hold the key down for four seconds. A question mark shows up. Keep holding it for a few more seconds, and it programs that key. Wow. So if you have like you know, obviously there's a gaming theme on this one. If you have some particular you know collection of keys you like to hit, but you hate you know being like neat 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 to get everything across your keyboard in the middle of the game, you can program it so that you can hit this key and automatically execute that series of key commands. Now there's some some games in some places where I'm going to be holding down the key for a long time regardless. Yes. So can you disable that functionality? Yes. And that's uh, basically, you know, you program, set it down for four seconds, and you can put it into a, like a game compatibility mode. And that way you can choose one of the keys, uh, and only one of the keys will allow you to enter into the programming mode. This is a beautiful finish. Yeah. This is really, really nicely made. Brad did a beautiful job. I've known Brad for years through, through an email thread list of mine. He's a friend of mine, so I should I should let that out there. But like he said, um, Brad likes making nice things. Yeah. It's a little Aluminum, the construction is beautiful. I left the feet off because I was playing around with double stick tape on weird locations on my desk because I'm funny like that. Um, but he's trying to make a quality product that makes you feel happy about the money you spent. Um, you noticed like these are cherry blues Equivalence, or a cherry yeah. blue equivalent over here. I think you said those were browns, browns on that yep. one. Um, it's a nice piece of work. They're $45. Um, which compared to a hundred dollar gaming keyboard is nothing, but compared to you know your cheap keyboard, like, I guess you could technically manually put together the macros you wanted mm -hmm. in software and to run them that way. But one of the cool things about this is you know any machine I plug this into, all of the information for executing those keycap, those keystrokes, are all stored locally in the chip inside right. of this on this board. So that's neat. It's a little bit of a novelty, but I think it's very cool. And of course, because they're just basically cherry style switches, mm -hmm. you can use any of your own keycaps if you like those. Like your, I, I think these are great, and they sell additional keycaps as well. Yes, lots and lots of keycaps. Techkeys.us, and the price is forty-five dollars. And along with gray, I think they have blue and gold anodized Ooh. available. Well, thank you for bringing in the six-key keyboard. My pleasure. Awesome. And we'll have another cool product to share and show on Tested. You can find more of Patrick finds on techthing.com. That's T-E-K-T-H-I-N-G.com. And until then, we'll see you next time.